Well, Jean-Luc, uh, welcome to the, uh, the chairlift chat with Planet Ski. And, uh, well, the first and most obvious question, what's it like to win a gold medal at the Olympics? <laughs> Well, it's enough fun that you want to do it again, and unfortunately, it's it's tough to do it again. But an amazing feeling! It's it must be the highlight of my life. And you uh, competed in four Olympic Games, I believe, starting in 1992 up to 2002 in Salt Lake yeah. City. And you're a, a mogul, a mogul skier. The mogul specialist. I was there on the on a great golden period of that sport. And uh, how are your knees? <laughs> They're actually in a good shape, better than what people think. And uh, well, we have some secret tricks, but it go well. Oh well, secret tricks. What are they? You skiing by ear. By ear. By how, ear. How does that work? If it, if your ski makes sound on the muggle, if you're if you're banging the bumps, it's because you don't have the right techniques. It need to be soft. It need to be no noise. If you uh, if you avoid to make noise, that means you get a good ski contact with the snow and you get the right technique. And so when you hear the noise, what do you do? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's because you need to slow down your speed and get back in control. Usually you will hit the bounce pretty hard when you go too fast and where you're in a little lack of control. What was it like when you decided to, 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 to back it up? Um, we've spoken to a lot of uh, athletes, a lot of skiers and snowboarders who find it quite difficult when they stop competing. Did you find it easy or, or difficult? Did you, did, it's quite did you tough. miss it? It's quite tough, obviously, and honestly. You realize that you're never going to be part of the, uh, the world elite anymore. And for a few months, of course, you're like, mm, should I go back? But if you don't have that magic fire, that secret fire, that little spark that makes you do well on a World Cup scene, you won't be able to, to achieve any podium anymore. And at one point, you know, you leave competition, but you don't leave skiing. And you can still enjoy the beauty of different mountains around the world. That's the great thing about competing in, in skiing. And indeed, that, that's what you do now. You're working at the Massif Resort here in, in, in Eastern Canada. What's your role here? You're described as a sort of ski ambassador, as it were. <laughs> what, what does that actually mean? Specialist on everything. <laughs> jack of all trades, master of jack, none. <laughs> exactly, jack of all trades. And mostly with uh, companies who visit, journalists too as well. i giving some little mogul course to some client there and there. And uh, being part of different activity of the mountain. So I really enjoy, I got the, the great, the best of, of what we can do out of out in the mountain. Now your face is uh, familiar on television screens in Canada, not quite so in Europe because uh, you're not uh, you're not on television in Europe, but you, you have a TV career as well I believe. Yep, the uh, TV show How It's Made that is well known on the Discovery Channel, so I host the French part of that show, it's called Comment C'est Fait, and we visit several different enterprises and we film how they produce and they made from ski pole up to helicopter to lottery tickets. So sort of anything really? Anything, so it give me busy, it keep me busy on the on the off season. Yeah, and what about the, the skiing here? Um, I've obviously, well, I haven't been here before. I skied here yesterday. Um, <laughs> incredible, incredible views you've got here, basically down to the St. St. Lawrence River. I've never really seen anything like it. I don't quite know whether to look at the look at the view ahead of me in the sea or down at the slope in front, for safety reasons. It's quite impressive to have a ski center that it's so close to such a big river like the St. Lawrence River, it's about, it's about 15 to 16 miles wide over here and the situation of the mountain creates some great snow. Usually we have a pretty good snow on the mountain. Uh, unfortunately, during your, your visit, uh, we had a little rainy episode that made the, the course, uh, the slope pretty firm, but uh, it's okay, you know, we make the most of it and it's just great. It's the highest vertical drops east of the Canadian Rockies. So for the people living in Toronto, Montreal, Quebec City area, that's an easy access to ski a big mountain. Yeah, and is there, uh, is there a lot of mogul skiing that goes on in Canada? Is, is, it, a, is it a popular sport? I mean, well, in the Alps, we tend to do much more of the, sort of the downhill and the slalom, the ski cross, snowboard cross, not so much the moguls. Is, is, is it popular here? Mogul skiing is quite popular in Canada, in Eastern United States as well. Mountains are a little smaller, mogul slope make the trail longer and give a good challenge as well out of the piste to, to, to enjoy skiing. So Canadians have been doing well through the years in moguls, so it creates some emulation and more and more kids are performing well that way. Now I'm sure you've been asked this question 101 times about how to ski moguls, but I was uh, chatting to a couple of people this morning saying I was meeting a gold uh, medalist in the moguls. What is the trick for skiing moguls? <laughs> The easy trick is you close your eyes and you let your legs soft and usually you do the job. Yeah, that's easier said than done though. When they're, <laughs> when they're shoulder high and icy, you think, oh my God. You can have a few beers too. Turn, do you turn on the back? Do you turn on the front? Do you well, go slowly? Do you put your legs apart together? How, how does it work? If the bump is in front of you, then you try to you try to avoid to be on a, on a far bottom of the muggle because that thing will throw you out of the muggle course. With your ski, you hit the bottom of the muggle and you roll over a little bit on the side. So slowly you repeat the same movement on the way down. Like that you will control your speed and you will enjoy muggle. You will ski it on a different way and especially natural bumps are very fun to ski. 
Well, the theory sounds quite good and it looks reasonably easy uh, explained on the back of a glove there. <laughs> but uh, the reality, I'm sure, is somewhat different. You know the difference is sometimes if I scare you in the room, you're going to make a step back as a reaction. On the, on the downhill course, on the skiing piece, if you're a little scared, you're going to make a step back. But if you do so in Mogul, the next Mogul will really eject you. So that's why you have to be forward and you, let, you need to anticipate a lot the next, the next Mogul. Right. Well, I'm going to forget about the little lesson on the gloves there. And I'm going to go in the Moguls here now and uh, lean forward is the technique. <laughs> now, we're just approaching the end. Uh, if it doesn't work, I'm going to come back and uh, see if I can do the other technique. But anyway, we'll many, many thanks, Jean-Luc. All the best. Hey. Come on.